the voice of a gay to the voice of a broken heart it's a shame to see how we live how we wake up it's the evil in the wind blowing all across the land I know that you'll be wondering what a lady like me is doing here. Because it's a place for the dead. And I'm still very much alive. The person speaking to you right now is a walking dead. And I have all reason to call myself such. Perhaps you will understand after listening to my story. It all started few months ago. You drive him. Tell me. Can't fucking lecture these girls go attend. Why did you never join us up to Nabi? Lecture how they arrange them. Donkey. Donkey. Why you burn those bills? No, they fire down on our people. them. Junior, you're missing something here. You're definitely missing something. Tonya is meant to take care of the bills. Okay? Or do you want someone to fuck up with the fucking bar? Donkey, nothing. Hi, B, eh? Nothing to happen. Oh, you find out about B, eh? Any which way that works. But this bar food, I feel I'm the last. You understand? I believe your mama died. You understand? Oh, yeah, they go. Oh, that's my Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, This is more like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was so bored at the lecturer. I felt like killing the lecturer. I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's why we didn't fucking bug our fucking selves to join you people in the fucking lecture room because we knew it was going to be fucking boring. Ah, <laughs> ah, so ah. Ah. Hey, which kind of fuck up did this now? Which one be so now, babes, go day you know, no one other sharks for us. When the world is now? When the world, your blood is over overhot. Now, now you don't do shit, never even catch you. You don't do yourself. <laughs> okay, uh, cool down, cool down, cool down. Listen, I hope there's an activity tonight. Because I am ready. I am so ready. Uh, Who? Yeah. To Who? Ah! Ah! Ginger the Swagger! Ah. Every, every Hannah versus Beyonce. Ah. 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 Ah.
<laughs> you know what, guys? Um, actually, yes, there's an activity tonight. A friend of mine just returned from Europe, you know, and it's going to be happening in its place tonight. So from here, we proceed the we walking to his place. Yeah. Let's go to this N-I-G-G-A, yeah. that yeah. shit ain't happening yeah. in yeah. Amsterdam, yeah. that the real yeah. NBA yeah. is happening yeah. in yeah. Yeah. Niger. Yeah. 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 Who's with me? I think it. Who's with me? I think it. Once again, Senator Konkwo, I welcome you to my palace and to Gidi Kingdom. We are all very honored by your noble presence in our midst. Thank you, Your Majesty. No. For me, coming here is like homecoming. Our people say that a fowl does not forget he that plucked its feather during the rainy season. <laughs> Without your massive support during the last poll, I wouldn't have been here addressing you as Senator of Federal Republic. What do you know? Our son, if we had denied you our support, to whom would we have given it? Ours is ours, and the mind is mine. Um, as a son of my own biological younger sister, you are indeed one of us. Yeah, thank you, Chiobi. And that brings me to the reason why I'm here today. Right now, inputs are being made into the national budget for the next fiscal year. As I'm talking to you, I want you people to tell me any project of your choice and I will lobby it on your behalf. I am talking. You see? You see why I say that uh, ours is ours mm -hmm. and the mine is mine? You couldn't have been here at a better time, uh, Senator. Uh, um, am I in line, Your Majesty? True. Senator Okorongwa. Uh, recently, my people articulated some projects they consider priorities in our kingdom. And uh, we were thinking of sending a delegation with them to your office in Abuja before we got wind of your coming here. Yes. They are all, all the projects, they are all in this envelope. But please, permit me to defer giving it to you here. Yes, I'd like to give it to you in the presence of my people who are right now waiting for you at the village square to receive you. Yes. Our people say that the rafter is better brought down when all the people who participated in the killing of the vulture are present. Thank you. Uh, once again, we welcome you to our kingdom. Please sit down. Igwe, as you come with you, I thought you were going to It's quite unlike Tina to go anywhere without telling me. Someone that's never stayed out beyond 8 p.m. and now it's past, it's past midnight and she's not here. Her phone is switched off. What's going on?
you got a distress call from the hospital while you were away this afternoon. Then you should have called me or at least dropped a note. Oh God, I'm really, really sorry, okay? I'm sorry. It was actually a complicated pediatric case and all the doctors were nowhere to be found. Yeah. In fact, I fought my most difficult medical battle in the last eight hours trying to save a baby's life. Oh God, but I'm happy I won. Oh, thank God. Your phone is switched off. Yeah, oh my goodness, yeah, that's true. My phone is switched off. Ah, I forgot to turn it on after the surgery. You must have been trying to reach me, right? Of course. Oh God, I'm sorry. Welcome. Um, hope you um, prepared something for me to eat. Yeah, trust me. I trust you. Well, first of all, you have to visit the bathroom. Oh, you don't want to. I'm tired. Bathroom. Oh, now. Yeah. I'm so tired. Yeah. But, was quite correct. Your all recent dangerous and irresponsible deeds have made such arrests inevitable. So, what is that supposed to mean exactly? Are you not aware of the public shame and disdain that we are getting in these last few weeks? Huh? Are you unaware of the threat to, to, to dethrone me if I do not get Senator Okoronkwo to swallow his pride and attract federal presence into our kingdom? Are you not aware that I was publicly booed at the village square by my own subjects because of you? Huh? Look, I do not really know where I want to start making amends from to avoid a disaster. But I might as well start from where I could. Does that mean putting my friends behind bars? Those urchins you call your friends are leading you to death and destruction. What I did was necessary to bring my daughter back to the symbol of excellence that she was before she met them. Yes, I cannot watch you destroy yourself. I'm your father, and I still love you very much, Tonya. Dad, do you by any way recognize From where you get it, if you must do that. Huh? I, 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 the I, I, lives of 36 secret service agents working on the ground at different militant group in the Niger Delta will be at stake if I expose this document. <sighs> oh, you know what? They will be executed by the military. You know what? The militants will come after you. Even if they don't get you, the government will arrest you and charge you for high treason. Tonya, yeah, why? Dad, not only will you lose, you will lose your freedom why? and your honor. What? 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 What has 
Como are you? My friends, by the people there, or this document exposed to the public. Gentlemen, the two gentlemen and one lady I asked you to arrest this morning, please uh, release them. There has been a mix up, but uh, it's been clarified now. Yes, I, I, will, I will talk to you later about it. Yes, right away. Immediately, yes. Thank you. Very smart, Dad. Very, very smart. What is it? You know what? Um, you can keep the copy. I have several other copies. This is all the way I choose to live my life, henceforth. And this document will be exposed to the public. Were you hypnotized? Come. Tonya. 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 This must be my enemy's walk somewhere. Is it? Is that a charm or hypnosis or what is it? Tonya! You're welcome back home. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? Fine. You're welcome home. Uh, elders, the eagle has landed. The prince is home amongst his people. You're welcome, my brothers. Good day, everyone. Good, Good day. Uh -huh. You're welcome, son. Thank you. You're Please welcome. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you. Yeah, sit down, my elders. <laughs> You're welcome back home. Thank you, Dad. So how was your flight? I... Yes, I was told that you had come home. So I called them to wait for you. Oh, 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 oh God! <laughs> hey! You're looking so, so cool. You're looking smashed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. How is America? Fine. Um, listen, I want to meet you. Uh, oh, wait, wait, listen, I'm Sonia. And Solomon just came back and is meeting with Dad and his chiefs. Just keep the introduction and, uh, until they're done, okay? Not to worry, okay? I'll just take a little bit of your time. Um, excuse me. This is my boyfriend. Yo. Um, his name is Dom Kruger. So you walk on yeah. back to Africa. Yes, so. <laughs> and this is um, Eugene, my very good friend. And this is Vera, my best friend. We're family. Excuse me, Tonya, are you in your senses? Um, uh, Solomon, sit down, please. I know, but Dad, I need to know who these people are. Yes, Solomon, there's a time for you to ask such a question and you get the right answer. This time, we are welcoming you back home. Elders, we are welcoming my son back home. Yes, yes sit down. Um, <laughs> you know what? Brother, congrats, welcome back home, and uh, 
Jewelries I bought for you. This is yours, and this is yours. Thank you. We'll go for further shopping here in Nigeria uh, because I was thinking your taste might have changed with time. Ah, uh, no, there's no need of buying anything new for us. These are really beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ah, oh, go try this in the jewelries, brother. I love mine so much. Mm. Oh my goodness, the girls will go green with envy when they see this. I'm serious. They're so nice. Well, I'm happy both of you like what I bought for you. Um, Dad, how about your suits? This is a very beautiful suit, my son. Honestly, I feel like I'm 30. All my 30 is all over again. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're talking about being in your 30s. Hope you're not thinking of getting another wife. Tonya, I'll always love your mother. You understand? I hope you're not trying to avoid the question I wanted to ask you. Yes, because ever since I saw the suit, I've been meaning to ask you to point to Mr. Wright so that we can know, because I intend to use this suit for your wedding. Well. Mr. Wright will come knocking when you and Solomon stop buying me the same clothes as Tina. Tonya, that was too hard. Can't you see both of you are too identical to be told apart? That is the reason why you should buy us different clothes to differentiate us. Yes! I mean, Tina is too archaic for my liking. Yeah. Um, Tonya, that's an insult, okay? That's, that's a very big insult. I mean, it's really wrong. <laughs> Just keep it low, okay? I don't even have your time right now. I don't. Fool. Tonya! Tonya! I didn't want to say anything to you about this girl. That is the Tonya that we now have. That's the monster that bad friends have turned our Tonya into. You know, I don't know what I've done wrong. I don't know who is pursuing me. I don't know the enemy who has done this to me. Who has turned my daughter? The girl I knew who was behaving herself into a, a, a monster. I don't know. It's okay, Daddy. It's okay. I don't know whether this is hypnosis or, or my enemies are using her to get at me. I don't know why. What, what, where, where did that go wrong? Honestly, what's that wrong? Then you understand. So just let her be. You know how she is. Just let her be. Okay? Don't get upset. Oh, I'm not getting upset, but you just imagine. You understand? Elders of Ogidi Kingdom, behold, His Royal Majesty, Igwe Uzodema Enyinaya, the Ntu Mabure Enyiwan of Ogidi Kingdom. You are welcome, my chiefs. Without wasting time, let us go straight to the business of the day. In line with your request, I have I present the prince of this kingdom who from today will be known formally as the crown prince of Ogidi kingdom. Oh no, Igwe. Up to you now. My come son, come here. Neither. A lion begets a lion. Yes. For the offspring of the elephant, 
is always a giant. Ours is a family of great achievers from time immemorial. Yours is a family of great leaders amongst men. My son, so far you have shown that the blood of your great ancestors run in your vein. May they be with you, guide you to safety, and give you wisdom, so that by the time it is your time to ascend the ancient throne as they did in their days, you will even be better than them in their deeds. Igwe Nishe Kwenu, by the powers bestowed upon me, as the Onowu of Ogiri Kingdom, I hereby crown and pronounce Prince Solomon Enyina, the Crown Prince of Ogiri Kingdom. Congratulations, my son. Thank you, Father. Nietzsche. My Prince, may you live long. My prince, it shall be well with you. <laughs> the prince of Giddy Kingdom shall be well with you. Yes, my chips, I thank you. Uh, from there. Uh, oh, Tonya, you're here. I've just been made crown prince. <laughs> Congrats, but that's not why I'm here. I'm dad. I went to the royal bar to collect some drinks to serve my friends, and I found it locked. The real butler told me that you locked it and you're with keys. Can I have the keys? Dad. Dad. Go and search for those animals she calls her friends. And throw them out of this palace. Now! Go and search for them wherever they are. Uh, Prince, please. Let me handle this. Uh, Dad. I'm sorry to disrespect you before the elders. But if Tonya is mad, it's time for me to make her understand that the curing process has started. I am a good mad. Yes, at least something will start to happen. Tonya. You're going out to eat tonight? Yeah, brother. <laughs> so my friends invited me to a very hot, hot party tonight. I am the lady of the night. <laughs> and did you seek that approval before going out? <laughs> brother, you've been amazing since you came up from the US. I mean, I haven't lived in the US for six years. I don't expect such question from you. Look, Tonya, you have to correct this impression of yours. I didn't go to America to learn the wrong things. Besides, this carefree attitude of yours is getting on my nerves. You need to change. You need to change. Aren't you aware of the environment you're living in? That's why I've told you several. I don't even like this country. I just want to leave this country. I've been telling you that if, if you would just allow me to come live with you in the US. But no! That is when you graduate and cut down on your excesses. Do you hear me? Oh, brother, you're beginning to sound like Daddy and Tina. Oh, you're beginning to sound like them. Well, Tonya, I don't know how they sound to you. But all I know is that they sound the way they do because they love you and they want you to change for the better. Well, I'm actually here for us to talk. The way you're going about this, your new lifestyle, you're being too fast. You should understand that life is not straight, kid sister. You need to adjust. You are the twin sister to Tina. Daddy, Tina and I are hurting because of you. You are Tina's twin sister. Look at where she is today. Isn't that a thing of concern for you? Yes, I know that we are identical twins. But, I mean, I just want everybody to understand that we can't have identical destinies. But must the differences be on the negative side? I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me. 
Sit. Sit down and listen to me. Listen and listen good. I'm going back to America next week. And before I go back, this nonsense has to stop. Yes. Do you know what that means? No more indecent dressing. No more going out without seeking father's consent. And no fighting tonight. You must be choking, okay? You must be choking. Talking to a couple of people since I came back. And I was told that you are the only person that keeps Tonya at bay since her madness started. With your strict ways and uncompromising attitude of not wanting to condone any nonsense she comes up with. That's your mere presence scares her. And that at a point, you even got her locked up in the royal guardroom for misconduct. And suddenly, you changed. You not only condone her excesses, but try to stop anyone that controls her whenever she's at it. Like you did yesterday night. And this is the result. Why, Dad? Why? Salomon, I love Tonya. I love all of you. Dad, you did not start loving Tonya, Tina, and I today. I have known you to be a disciplinarian. Mom was the soft type, I can understand. But you were strict. In fact, Tina and I owe everything we've achieved to your uncompromising stance on hard work, decency, and compassion. In fact, the entire kingdom is the way it is today because of this singular quality of yours. People admire you because of that. Dad, why are you sacrificing everything on account of Tonya? Tell me the truth. I'm your son. Son, what I'm about to tell you, I've never told anybody, not even Tina. Tonya is in possession of a document that could destroy me and my entire family if she makes it public. And she has threatened to do so if I ever interfere with her life again. What sort of document is that, Dad? You know, the late Mr. Albert, who used to work for me as an um, operations manager. Yes. I never knew that he was a secret agent. Yes, and he used my company to set up his operations. 
after he died. I stumbled on some documents in his office while I was trying to uh, 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 clean up the place. Secret government documents. And that is the document that Tony, your sister, is using to blackmail me. What was the document all about, Dad? The document contains the names and operational directives of all Secret Service agents working on the ground in the different Niger Delta militant groups. Mr. Albert used my company to get the confidence of the militants and he was posting the secret agents to them. Now when the government got to know that the document was in my possession, they made me swear to an oath to also work with them. So I had to complete the recruitment of the secret agents who started working with the militants. But I, after I had completed, concluded my work with the government, I was supposed to have destroyed that document. I don't know why I left it. I don't know why I did not destroy it. But how Tonya was able to enter my room, open that safe and retrieve that document to use it against me now, that I don't know. So if she makes good her threats, you'll either be killed by the militants or the relatives of the secret service agents that will surely be killed, right? Or arrested by the government and tried for high treason. Whichever way, I lose. But the government will not only, only destroy me, they will destroy my business and everything that I have. And you, my children, are my only problem now. I don't want Tonya to destroy both of you. I'm going to talk to her to return the documents. Do you understand what we're talking about? We're talking about a mad woman who broke your head because you were trying to let her know that certain things she was doing were wrong. It's not possible. After what happened yesterday, Tonya would not listen to you again. I don't know whether it's hypnosis or she's under the power of some forces that we do not know. Because I, 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 I don't know what this is all about. I honestly don't know. Dad, still I'll talk to her. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> honestly, baby, I can't wait to see you again. Yeah, the pictures are here. They are so beautiful. Seeing them alone sets me on fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bad guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, I love you. I love you, Flanksy. I love you, love you, love you. I love you. Okay, again. Okay, I love you, I love you. Oh, my God. I mean, what is making my Gloria glow so riveting? <laughs> Who's making this? Baby, look at these pictures. Aren't they lovely? Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. Um, where did you take them? Last month, at your sister's uh, wedding. The wedding I was supposed to attend with you, right? Oh, girl. <laughs> Who is this guy? He's so handsome. I mean, uh, when am I going to meet him? Oh, don't worry. You see him very soon. He said he sent his driver to pick us up after our parade next week. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that is very thoughtful. That's my baby for you. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I love him. Oh. I love him so much. That sometimes it scares me. It scares you? Yeah. Um, that's a shit on you. Not to my knowledge, though, but... You know the saying that guys cheat sometimes, so the thought of him cheating in my absence, oh, I can't take it. 
Gloria, listen. The fear of the unknown breeds mistrust. And mistrust destroys relationships. Listen, I was a victim in my first relationship. And I don't want to just suffer such fate. Okay? Now, let me tell you something. I want you to erase that memory from your head completely. Okay? Okay. You yes. it. Yes. You it. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, were you able to call your dad as we discussed? Yes. I did. I mean, he was so excited. I uh, can't wait to see me next week. Uh, I'm serious. I miss him so much. Okay, so you see your daddy's girl. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see my baby. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, did you get anything? Trust me now. <laughs> Yes, come in. Uh, how are you today, Dr. Tina? I'm fine, thank you, Doctor. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, um, Doctor. Um, I really want to say thank you so much for the Saint First Party Day Hospital Management is doing for me tonight. I'm really so grateful. Thank you so much. I'm oh, so grateful. You merited much more than that, my dear. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, due to some pressing personal engagements, I won't be attending in person. <laughs> I said my apologies. No, it's okay, Doctor. I really do understand. I, I understand. And, Doctor, a nurse told me that you wanted to see me. Oh, yes. Recently, I've been appraising your records in the last 10 months as a corporate doctor in this hospital. I must confess that they are so excellent that we find it quite difficult to even contemplate parting with you. <laughs> um, would you mind if I ask you to extend your services for us? Um, um, doctor, are you actually asking me that you want to retain me as a permanent staff in this hospital? Yes, though this time in a more challenging environment and position. I just opened a branch of the hospital in Oka, very close to your hometown. I want you there as a resident doctor. Do you like the offer? <laughs> Do I like the offer? Of course, I, I actually love the offer. Like, I mean, doctor, you don't, you don't know what you've actually done for me. This is like a, a dream come true for me. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I, I'm really, really grateful. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm <laughs> glad to hear that. Details of your appointment will be made available soon. Congratulations. I'm so grateful. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Um, doctor, please, if you don't mind, I'll, lo I'll, lo I'll love you to excuse me because I have a patient that needs urgent treatment. He has tuberculosis. Okay. Go about your business. I'm so grateful, sir. Thank you once more. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Back down. Tonya. Where are you going dressed like a prostitute? What? Mind you so many names? Do you? God, leave us. Take the bag. Go inside. Yes, Your Highness. Tonya, is it me, your biological father, you are talking to like that? <laughs> huh? A man who toiled day and night to make sure that you get the, the good life that you're talking to like that. A man who refused to marry 
after your mother died and you were just 11 years old and he loved you and your siblings so much that he didn't want another woman to begin to ah! For your information, I am going to a very interesting party tonight, okay? Tonya! <gasps> hmm? Your twin sister is coming home tomorrow from national service. Are you not aware? Hey, Daddy, when she comes back, help me greet her very well. Greet her very well, because this girl you're seeing, it's coming back next week. Next week! Good night. There's a demon living in that girl. That I'm aware of now. God, but who's the offend? understand how you feel, you would wonder why we made this choice, but if you ask me, I mean, if we have to avoid the stick up that happened last week, we just have to put up here, living here as well. I mean, I mean, this is, this is crazy, this is like, I mean, not, not in a bachelor like this, this is like, this is bullshit, this is rubbish. You, 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 you baby. I understand how you feel, okay? But if you ask me, I'd say our safety is much more important to us and to me than the comfort of a big mansion in the city. Oh, please. Well, I'm, 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 well um, I can see from the look of things you guys don't like here. But how you be, eh? Make me and Don the cat here full time. You two now go the log out, the log in as usual. Not big deal, you don't understand? Oh, you know what? Vera, I mean, what are you still doing here listening to their rubbish? I mean, this, 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 is, this is bullshit, this is... Chai. I'll talk to Tonya! Tonya! That's all we're gonna do? No, 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 that, that, that's all we're gonna do? You try no. Easy, man. Let them be. Okay? Peace out. What is it? Don't boys, I'm a gay. Simple boys, a broken heart. It's a shame to see how we leave, how we wake up. is back home. <laughs> How's Jess? Oh, Jess is fine. Good. Just that I missed you so much. Oh, I missed you much more than you missed me. <laughs> Do you know how many times I saw you in my dream? I don't need to even know because I know that you missed me so much. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'm so back for good. I'm like happy that I'm back for good right now. I'm so I'm happy. happy too, yeah. yeah. Um, Daddy, um, how is Tonya? Please, 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 let, let us celebrate your homecoming, okay? Let us forget Tonya for now, please. Okay. okay. Forget about Tonya for now, please. Okay. Let us go. Okay, baby. Oh, baby, I've missed you so much. You look so strong. I'm strong. <laughs> okay. Where is this? Your new office, right? Your own office. Your law chamber. <laughs> what? You kidding? No, baby, I'm not kidding here. Remember the promise I made to you the day you graduated from law school? Oh, Good luck, my barrister. Oh, my God, you're kidding. This lady is mine. Oh, God, you're joking. Uh -uh, this is mine. Oh, God. I'm going to say this is so good. This is so good. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. Oh, baby, what can I say? Baby, 
You see, you don't need to say anything, okay? Just oh. sing it. Tell me you love me. Come here. <laughs> I love you. 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 Okay. Oh, God. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I promise I'll always make you proud. Maybe I know you will. I believe this is oh, the right time for cool. you to take me to your doctor friend. Oh, promise yes. Yeah, she's in the kitchen to meet you. God, I can't wait to tell her about okay, this. Let's bounce. Let's go again. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I on, love you. On, so why did you tell serious. me you're bringing me here? <laughs> you look not see you. So yeah. Serious. Something must be done to keep I the ball rolling I in this I community. You understand me? You stop I telling me this. No, no, don't try to calm me down. This community needs an urgent urgent attention. Please calm down. Igwe. My noble riches, I understand your anger and frustration. After all, uh, our kingdom is in dire need of federal presence in terms of uh, developmental projects. And what Princess Tonya did before Senator Koronko that day and her public conduct for some time now has been nothing to write home about. I am terribly sorry, but uh, the good news is that Princess Tina, her sister, Dr. Tina, since she came back from youth service, has taken up this challenge. She's been in contact with uh, Senator Koronko by telephone and by letter. And uh, they have come to an agreement. Senator Koronko called me yesterday that he will not deny us our rights because of that unfortunate incident. Good. And uh, tomorrow, our precious Princess Tina is taking our demands to Abuja. Is working on this. She's been in contact with Senator Okorunko, and I assure you, all our demands will be met. Yes. Yes. Thank you. As to your threat that you are going to invoke the people's rights to dethrone me and enthrone my son while I'm still alive, I wonder whether you know that. Legally, you cannot do that. Uh, uh, Your Highness, this is not a law court. And this issue does not call for big grammatical explanations. Mm -hmm. Nothing exposes a man's weakness like an irresponsible child that acts without a restraint, even before the father. You see, you are not just the political and traditional head of our people. This kingdom also looks up to you for the maintenance of order, and common sense. Wow. The river called Ogidi Kingdom is being soiled from its very source. Yes. And this is not acceptable to us. I want to ask for your assistance. I want to ask for your help. This case has become like that of the proverbial scissor fly on the scrotum. If you leave it alone, it will suck you to death. You hit it and you break your testes. Give me your honest opinion as to what I should do because, as a matter of fact, I'm at sea now. Your Majesty, every madness has a cure, and the relatives of the mad person take responsibility for his or her action if they fail to control him or her accordingly. Find solution to Princess Tonya's madness and cure her before she drags this kingdom to its doom. She is your daughter. How dare you call me? Huh? How dare you call me a mother? You're disposable! I'll show you up! I'll show you up on the phone!
Is she coming? No. She ordered me out of her room. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. This cleansing sacrifice is very expensive. And it's just not the sacrifice alone. The cost Daddy, of... Daddy, Daddy listen. listen. Daddy, listen. What we should be talking about is the looming disaster this man lying out there will bring to all of us. Daddy, yes, I know that the sacrifice is very expensive. But you and I know that you are equal to the task. We really need to act fast before the youth of this community come here. And if they get here, they'll vandalize the whole palace in anger. You and I know that Tonya is the most hated living person in this kingdom. And you to do anything with that opportunity to get back to her. But now that he has refused to come down, huh? What do we do to avert this looming disaster? What do we do? Dad, I've been thinking. You know, two of us can hardly be told apart from each other. Just a little act here and there, and everyone will believe that I am Tonya. No. 
No, Tina, I won't allow you to do that. Daddy, no, Daddy, listen to me. I mean, is it taboo for me to stand in for my sister? Is it? Daddy, just get the items ready, okay? Just get it ready. I'll be changing in my room. Please, we have to do this for her. We have to do this. I can't, I can't afford to lose my sister. My princess, please, you can't go out now. Huh? What is the meaning of this? Huh? Your sister is out there impersonating you, trying to get each chain of you up. And if you expose yourself by going out there, they will discover. And the consequences might be too drastic on her and his highness. Before I count three, get out of my way right now. Get out of my way this minute! Please, my princess, please don't do this. Princess Tina is doing all this. It's not as if she likes it. She's doing it just to save you from public harassment, please. She wants to save you from family, to save her family from shame. My princess, she loves you. That is why she's doing all this, my princess. Okay, do you want her to be punished for doing all this for you? Listen, who is punishing her? Huh? Who is punishing her? My princess, you, of course, by going out there, please. My princess, my princess, please. that your blood pressure is dangerously high and you need to stay off alcohol and, and, and always think straight. Hey, do you want to kill yourself? <laughs> I'm 
sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I can't help thinking about Tony. She's my daughter. Yes, you can. Daddy, you can stop if you want to. Listen. Yes, you can, okay? Look, if Tonya is a deviant, Solomon and I are not. I mean, you have three children which you single-handedly brought up. Yeah, yeah. One is a deviant huh. and, and, and a failure. Yes. A failure. But a monumental failure. Yes, and two are not. Solomon is a successful engineer in the U.S. And I am a qualified doctor with a very good job. Dad, I understand how you feel. I really understand. After all, Tonya is your blood. Okay. I, 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 I brought this, this album. Uh, you don't know how much she had degenerated in the last one year while you were serving in Joss. Look at both of you entered the university eight years ago, right? Uh huh. You are a qualified medical doctor, a successful one. She's still struggling to get her first degree in accountancy. Uh, which father will not feel betrayed by by that? Huh? That is on the negative side. On the positive side. How many of your contemporaries have what you have in Solomon and I? That is what I want you to focus your, your thought in. I want you to be the center of your thoughts because of your health, Dad. I don't want you to stop. It's okay, I understand. I'm sorry, dear. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay, Daddy. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Let me get your food from the kitchen. And um, what do you think about it? Okay? Hmm? <laughs> I'll take this album away from you so you stop thinking about Tony. Okay. What? Yes. Did you forget something? I mean, can I help you? Tonya, why are you doing this? Why? Is this the right time for a decent girl to come back home? I mean, it's past 1 a.m. and you just... Why? Are you by any stroke of chance referring to me? Huh? Listen to me. This will be the last time in your miserable life that you accost me in such a manner. Okay? I mean, who the hell do you think you are? I am your twin sister. So? <sighs> Listen, Tonya. Daddy and I have been awake waiting for you. I just persuaded him to go to bed. I mean, just think about it. For a man of his age to stay up late waiting for his daughter to come back from God knows where? Listen, I don't care. Okay? I don't bloody care. You can as well keep a vigil waiting for me all night. I don't bloody care. Tonya, Tonya, we do care. And we will appreciate it if you care more. You are a fool. Okay? You are a frog.
Uh, what's up? You're surprised to see me, right? You're very surprised to see me, right? So, okay, calm down. Listen, calm down? Listen. No guy lives in the hotel room and disappeared. Nobody. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're sorry, right? Calm You're down. Really I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sana! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh! Oh! Fuck up, bitch! Me, bitch! Fuck up, bitch! Ah, you fool! Oh. It's the voice of the gay, till the voice of a broken heart. It's a shame to see how we live, how we wake up. It's the evil. In the wind blowing all across the land And my tears fall in rain It's the pain in my soul How can we be so very different? How could it be when you and I are one? This is all a mystery I want to know Bringing joy and pain to the kingdom Want you to see we need to leave us one Cause the storm is hurting to my soul oh, yeah. It's a rumble, it's a war It's the tragedies of life It's the killings, the dealings Misleadings, bloody fools It's a jungle there's no love, no, you just have to leave or die. Desecration of the kingdom is survival all to you. How can we be so very different? How could it be when you and I are one? This is all a mystery I want to know. Want to know. Bringing joy and pain to the kingdom I want you to see we need to leave us one Cause the storm is hurting to my soul